everybody, Luke here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about simplifying and sharing your 3D models. So what I have here is just a small sub-assembly that I need to share with a customer, a vendor, or a partner, and all I really want them to see is maybe some of these mounting holes and the hole in the center here where the shaft would go and connect up with the bearing. They really don't need any other detail, and I really don't want them to see all the information and detail that goes into my model here. So first thing I'd recommend you do is create a design view. I created one called Share that removes all of the individual small components that I don't care about sharing. I really just need this center here in the mounting holes like I mentioned before. And make sure, a quick tip here, that you lock these when you're done doing these. I don't know how many times I've created these and I've done all kinds of visibility controls and got the orientation just right and then I don't save it or lock it rather. So make sure whenever you're done with these, you always lock those. I'm gonna go back to default because it doesn't have to be active to work. And I'm gonna do a shrink wrap. Now there's two types of shrink wraps. One is a shrink wrap and one is a shrink wrap substitute. The shrink wrap substitute you would use for yourself internally. Let's say you have a really large assembly and you wanna to try to reduce the memory or the open time. It will basically take this component here and simplify it down to a single part file and then it will suppress all of the other components in your assembly. So you could use this again to reduce the memory load and maybe the open time. Uh, but we're talking about sharing here. So what we're gonna do is just a shrink wrap. This is gonna just create an external component that we can then email or share any other way we want to with again, a customer, vendor, or a partner. So I'm gonna issue the shrink wrap tool and I'm gonna use that design view I created called share. You'll see everything shuts off. And now I could go through and pick individual parts that I want to include or exclude, but I really just want to get rid of some of the features. So I'll go over to my features tab and I'm going to get rid of holes, any kind of pockets that exist, any fillets and any chamfers. And keep in mind, these are features that were created as fillets, as chamfers, as holes. Pockets does its best to figure out what a pocket is. And I do a quick detect features here. You'll see it's going to get rid of all of that information in the model. But I really want those mounting holes. And I want to make sure that that pass-through hole is there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select holes by size. So anything smaller than that hole right there, which is 13.5 millimeters. If I hit detect features now, you'll see it leaves those holes there. My pass-through hole is also there. I can do a quick preview if I want it as well to see what this is going to look like just to make sure. When I hit the preview, you'll see that all those fillets and chamfers are gone, all those holes and the patterns are gone, and basically I have exactly what I want. Next, I'm going to go to create, and I'm going to name the file. I'm just going to call this share-1. Dash Note the location. And then this is also important, the style of part that you're creating. So do you want this to be basically a giant solid body? Do you wanna do multi-bodies? Do you wanna have seams? Do you wanna send this out as a composite feature? Uh, I'd recommend breaking the link. If you're sharing this externally, uh, they're not gonna see that link anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. If it makes sense, make sure you fill any internal voids or remove internal parts. Maybe you missed them in the selection process and that just makes sure you have a nice clean solid that you're sending out. And I always recommend that you use the color overrides from source. That way, when they receive it, it'll look the exact same way that you see it. So I'm gonna send this out as just a giant solid. I'm gonna do a quick preview just to make sure that it's exactly what I want again. It is, I'll hit okay. And what it's gonna do is create that individual part file that was generated from basically the combination of all of those individual parts. So you can see here, there is my assembly. It's a single, I'm sorry, there's my part file rather from the assembly. And you can see the link is broken. It shows the original file. So if for some reason you need to kind of have a bit of a trail to know where this came back to, you can see it's also a solid body like we had determined. Um, so really nice way to share data. So if they're an inventor user, just send them the inventor file, but usually they're going to want something in a non-native file format. So I typically recommend a neutral file format. So I would go up to file. We'll export or save this as, I'm sorry, export this as a CAD file format. 
And you can choose anything from Katia, IGIS, JT, OBJ, step files, SAP files, you name it, and save that out and then share that with, again, your customer, your vendor, or your partner. So I hope this helped whenever you need to share your data and also maybe protect some of your information. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.